Hello all you wonderful, beautiful, and craptastic people. Craptastic Jack here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on just a subject a bit different from racing games. Okay, it's it's a lot different from racing games. But um, if you see my video that I put out a couple days ago of me playing uh, PUBG, you will know that I, I, I'm I in love with PUBG right now. It's one of my favorite games. It's probably my favorite game to come out this year so far. That is until Need for Speed Payback comes out, of course. But PUBG is probably one of the best games to come out this year and arguably the best and it's one of the most successful to come out this year as well um and still in early access though it's supposed to come out for early access in october i think but there's this problem uh, in the last week there's been a parade of problems affecting the pubg community and just pubg in general and today i'm gonna be talking about the bands because i feel like that's the biggest issue um with pubg right now is the banning system it, it, it's out of whack it's out of control it's it's not good and i have a feeling it could it could hurt this game a lot even before it comes out of early access so i'm gonna be talking about today and yeah so yeah without further interruptions let us begin so PUBG, PUBG, PUBG. you all know PUBG. you all play PUBG. hopefully it's a great game <laughs> and you should all be playing it um but the banning system in it is not good at all so a couple of days ago a uh, streamer by the name of um, Dr. Disrespect, I don't really watch him, I've seen him on Twitch a couple times, uh, he w he was streaming and he killed his teammate because they didn't have enough room for a vehicle, which, you know, <laughs> I if I got a teammate killed because of that, I honestly wouldn't care, I mean, it's my friend, blah, 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 but then he got banned for um, seven days, seven days for uh, team killing. Now, the first thing is, there most games that have banning systems... For stuff, stuff like this, it's usually in increments. It's like your first band, I'm just taking CSGO for example. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, two da two hours, then it's a then it's two days, then it's a week. Um, or something like that. But with PUBG's bands, it's just straight to seven days. Now, in Dr. Disrespect's case, he was, he did actually um team kill and he did it purposely. Which, you know, I don't really have an opinion on that. Do I feel like there should have been some sort of punishment then again it was his friend it's not like it was just a random guy i don't know i don't really know what to think here i i think seven days is just too too much um but other than that i don't really have much to say on it what i do have to say on is this reddit post by a na man uh named six seven i think and he was playing a game uh in squad with two of his friends and they need they, they need to fill one more spot for squad because it's four so they got another like, random guy, and this guy went around killing his teammates, and then the guy was the guy that they were randoming with was going to um, the player, the guy who's re making the announcement on the Reddit. So this guy knows he's gonna kill him next, so he goes shoots him, kills the guy who's team killing, then reports him, and he gets banned. The guy who was team killing gets banned, but the guy himself who reported it also gets a ban. This is basically what the report said. Thank you for submitting our report. I'd like to inform you that the user you reported has been temporarily banned. According to the rules of conduct, you were given a three-day ban as well for team killing. Next time, don't kill them and just submit it. But I was wrong about the seven days at the three-day ban, but still. Like, this just reeks of the zero tolerance policies. The shitty zero tolerance policies in schools where if you get beat up, you if you fight back, you you get... you If you defend yourself... You're getting punished as well. That's the shitty ass zero tolerance policies in school. They're bringing that into player unknown's battlegrounds, and for what reason? You're pretty much preventing a player of the game who's helping you weed out shitty individuals, who's helping you clean the community. You're banning him as well. You're keeping him. You're keeping a good citizen of your game from playing the game because they helped you weed out a bad a bad apple. I don't understand how that makes much sense. That doesn't make sense at all. But, oh, it gets uh, better. So, a lot of people, since PUBG is one of the biggest games on Steam right now, on Steam and, of course, on Twitch right now, there's a lot of people streaming it. Um, however, there's a big issue, apparently, with people stream sniping. And if you don't know what stream sniping is, basically, it's when someone goes and watches someone's stream and tries to get into their session and kill them using the information that they have on stream. Now, this may be a bit of a scummy thing to you in your opinion. I think if you have the ability to do that, more power to you. If you have the skills where you can go and do that, more power to you. Like the fact that you can actually get banned for this 
in a game where you're supposed to kill people is very odd. It's very, it's very backwards, in my opinion. And the fact that you can even get banned for this gives streamers the ability to just walk right in and report anybody who kills them because, hey, they're, they're, they're stream sniping. And then the people who are watching the stream also report them. And then Bluehole will see, oh, this guy got reported for stream sniping. Oh, look at all these reports. Ban seven days. And that's exactly what happened to a man named Novarin X and his friend. Basically, him, his friend, were in a game with Summit1G, who's probably like one of the biggest Twitch streamers, and Shroud, who were just who were streaming together on PUBG. And they end up dying at the hands of this guy's and his friend. And they get and his friend gets a seven-day ban for stream sniping. The, I, I mean, just the fact that you can get banned for killing someone without cheats in a game about killing. There's just something very backwards with that. I don't know about you, but there's something very wrong with that. I mean, PC Gamer's been picking us up. A bunch of people been picking up it up. There's a YouTube video now about um, the stream sniping that explains it in better detail. I'll link it below in the description. But this is just insane that people are actually getting banned for killing people in a game about killing. Just because they're streamers, they sick their fans onto them and they report it. And hell, they don't even have to sick their fans on. They could just die and go, oh, oh, well. But then the people will think that, hey, this guy I think stream sniped and they'll all just report it even without the streamer even noticing. Like, that's not... That's not, this isn't good. This isn't helping the game. This is hurting the game. The fact that you can actually sh get banned for stream sniping is just, no, 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 no. Player Unknown actually um, responded to this one actually uh, about the stream sniping thing. And he basically said, I've seen the data the community team looked at before issuing the ban, and the ban was indeed justified. The tracking data showed that the player in question tried to join the same lobby as the target multiple times. While we understand we cannot prove that this player was watching the target's broadcast, we see no other reason as to why we would consistently attempt to be in the same lobby as someone who is broadcasting live other than to have an advantage in the game. We have tracking in place that allows us to verify unplayer plays like this, despite what some players may think. For example, we can track when a player joins and quickly disconnects from multiple lobbies. Only staying in a game when they are in the same lobby as their target, we are constantly developing new tracking systems and ways to ensure fair play from all players. We don't generally mention this publicly as it would give value information to those who try to cheat the system. No one, get, no one gets special treatment and if the data doesn't back up the claim, no ban is given out. How the community team is committed to ensuring everyone, no matter who they are, has a level playing field in a game. I mean, just the fact that they can't prove the guy was watching their, the broadcast, the target's broadcast, just they can't prove that alone. So just giving them a seven day ban for something they can't technically prove in a perfect world, that would never work. I mean, there's a bunch of Reddit, art, Reddit articles about this. I'll link them in the description. Anyway, guys, I'll think it off there. Um, one way that they could help the game is to just remove the fact that you can get banned for stream sniping. Like, I don't want to have to go into a game and worry about killing a famous streamer and then getting banned for quote-unquote stream sniping. I don't want that. Even though they have all these measures in place, the amount of reports people are just going to ban. They even said that we don't have proof. So if you don't have proof, don't ban him. That's the thing. Uh, this is going to hurt the game a lot if it continues, and I don't want it to, but, you know. That's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.